I want to quickly show you some of my knife collection because I'm deciding that I'm going to do a few um, I'm going to do knife sharpening videos to show people that they don't have to do the standard traditional way but they can figure out how to sharpen knives themselves from their own natural instinct but I want before I do that I want to show you this is um this is the open L, excuse me. This is carbon. Open L. That's a big one. And what I did was what I do with open L, this is my um this is from uh Vietnam. This one is something steel. I have to put that in the description below. That is from a company, a special company that does, that brings in forged carbon steel from Vietnam. Authentic blades, yeah. Authentic blades. And so this is um, open L. And what I do is I I sand down the handle myself and um, treat it with olive oil or different, just natural oils, not any, anything chemical. And I do things like this to make the knife my own. And so that's my big one. What have I got here? Yeah, this is the dirty side. This is... I have to show later how I did this. This... I did this with very fine sandpaper. You can actually clean the blade without making it look sort of scratchy, horrible, just using fine sandpaper. And this is the other side. I haven't done yet. That I want to show later and you can see the The difference. It has a nice effect. If you use the right grade of sandpaper, it has a nice effect. But these, I want to show later also. This is also authentic blades. I got the. I got the blade with a kind of metal. With a metal shaft. That I then. Um, made my own handle from. Scots pine. I didn't break it. It it was falling on the ground. A Scot a three hundred year old Scots pine tree. And I um, worked on the wood and cleaned it out. And I wanted it to look natural. And then um, it fitted the blade. I'm not trying to show that. So that's a lot of fun. So if you can't forge your own knives, you can actually. Um, you can figure out ways to to put a forged knife onto uh, your own knife handle, and it works pretty well. It it fits, and I didn't figure that out. It just happened by accident. But it's a very nice knife, so I want to look at that maybe. And this was this is also authentic blades. Um, it came with the handle, just a light weight. It's a very nice knife, very sharp, beautifully made. Um, they're forged in Vietnam in the natural way. And all I did was I sanded the, the handle. Um, and to get a grip, I put the, the leather. I wound the leather on then in the end. I, I just glued it with super glue, but you can do a lot of things and, and then this way it's my own knife because if I don't do something new I get bored you can see from my channel that um, I have to keep doing different things because otherwise I get bored <laughs> but that's that one okay and this also is authentic blades fantastic knife it's a bit heavy for me 
Um, but I love it. It's a big chopping knife. And this was just some little gift that a friend gave me of a um, just some little knife that I then played with. The both sides were like this. I created this effect on my own. Um, sanding, sanding it down with the sandpaper. And then I just wound the, if you wind the leather down round, um, just leather pieces are different. This is something else. Um, that actually gives a better grip. And it made it into a knife because it was just some little fold up pocket thing with a plastic edge. And now it's my knife. So that's all for now. I just wanted to show that it's fun to just find now, it doesn't have to be expensive, but there is a way that you can just find really good knives and add them to your collection. That one was expensive. Sauvignac. Hand forged.